Now, as the European Union struggles with the ongoing migrant crisis, the bloc is preparing for a short two-day summit uh, to discuss the top issues beginning Tuesday in Brussels. Now, the differences between the member states over its immigration policy is threatening to tear the group apart. Henry Ritual reports. More than 100 migrants rescued by a cargo ship off Libya were finally disembarked in Pozzalo, Sicily, Tuesday, having spent four days at sea as Italy initially refused to let the vessel dock. Since time could have consequences on a humanitarian level, today I appealed to the Italian interior minister, Matteo Salvini, who today decided to let the migrants disembark. Salvini, the head of the far-right Lega party that is part of Italy's governing coalition, visited Libya Monday and reiterated Rome's demands, blocking migrant boats and rescue vessels, the sharing of migrant quotas across the European Union and asylum centres set up in Africa. His hardline stance threatens a major rift with EU allies. Now, Salvini um, in particular would really like to have a monumental failure at EU level because that would suit his narrative about Europe, about migration and about Italy itself and about political elites because that's really his story. Trying to keep the EU stitched together is Europe's traditional political core, the Franco-German alliance. Facing domestic pressures on immigration, Germany's Chancellor Merkel convened an emergency meeting on migration Sunday but it was boycotted by several eastern EU states that are refusing to take in quotas of refugees. In fact, migration is much less of an issue um, in real terms this year than last because the number of migrants coming into the European Union has dropped by half. Um, it's a trickle in comparison with what happened in 2015 to 16. That doesn't mean nothing should be done. In fact, the EU needs to have a much more comprehensive approach. Migration threatens to dominate a summit aimed at addressing several other issues like Eurozone reform and security cooperation led by France. Nine EU states this week signed off on a joint European military force for rapid deployment in times of crisis. Britain offered its backing, hoping to maintain defence ties as it leaves the EU. Progress in so-called Brexit talks has stalled, raising fears Britain may crash out next March without a deal. Brexit, I think, is a fairly low priority. Um, for most uh, of the other EU27. Um, it's kind of a pain. It's a technical question that requires a lot of bandwidth. Um, but actually, there are, as you, I mean, there are these existential issues facing the European Union that actually have nothing to do with Britain. Last year, EU Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker spoke of a win in Europe's sales. But storm clouds are gathering that once more threaten to sink European unity and some fear the EU itself. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London. And that uh, Brussels summit will actually take place on Thursday, Thursday this week.